All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting here in my home office. We've got a really busy week this week. Uh, next, this coming Saturday, we're going to be shooting the Carolina 3 gun over there in Franklinville. It's going to be a lot of fun. My good friend John Paps is coming down with me. And then uh, we've got some really cool things. We're going to attempt to shoot a golf ball at 600 yards. Oh, yeah. I uh, don't know how many takes it's going to take, but rest assured it's going to be a cold bore. But <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about today? I was just reading an article and I saw this thing. I was kind of Googling Joe Biden's gun control plan. The idea behind this whole thing is I wanted to start a new series. And let's just face it. Uh, the, the, the situation with uh, going out and shooting at a range uh, just for happy time reviews is getting expensive and we're going to kind of back off on that when you see me shoot my rifle and uh, you're not going to see me blasting away two or 60 to 100 something rounds at a time just having fun we're going to be straight to the point so there's not going to be a whole lot of me sitting there just blasting I'm going to hit the target we're going to move on great scope review is finished awesome so anyway, uh, in lieu of that, we're going to get back into politics. I feel like I've kind of neglected this thing. And I'm looking at this. We've got 100 days to the next election. So I feel like I need to do my part. So this, this whole series that I'm getting ready to start is Joe Biden's gun control plan. I've, I've heard people like, this doesn't affect me because all I have is deer rifles. Well, you know what? Ask the folks up there in Canada about their so-called deer rifles that overnight by Justin Trudeau were turned into, well, I don't know, weapon of war sniper rifles. Because it doesn't matter what you want. If it goes bang, somebody's going to want to take it away from you because they, they feel like you don't need that. And that's the whole thing. Joe Biden's giving up says, we're not going to, we don't want to violate anybody's Second Amendment rights. We're just going to give you the opportunity to register your firearm or we'll buy it back from you if you don't want to do that. And that part of the article that I got involved in this, I was reading this, is from the Washington Post. And it was, uh, I thought for a second, I was like, wow, what is this woman? Her name is Kim Kelly. Kim Kelly is a freelance writer and a labor organizer based in Brooklyn. We're talking about Biden's gun control plan is terrible for working class firearm owners. Well, reading into it, you're like, wow, okay, somebody is actually seeing the light. But in all actuality, what she's seeing is that through this NFA deal, a $200 tax stamp, is that only the rich people will be able to afford guns and the extreme right-wingers will be able to do anything they want where these poor little leftist individuals will be left on the sidelines without the ability to pay for their firearms. Well, I tell you what, I've never met a criminal who gives a shit about a $200 tax stamp or a law. These people don't understand that. <laughs> so anyway, I can't see her point, but it's mute. All right, so what I wanted to do was go ahead and start a new series. And we're going to do one video per day. And in that video, what I want to do is I want to talk about each one of his bullet points for his gun control plan, like ban manufacturing and sale of assault weapons in high-capacity magazines. Regulate possession of existing assault weapons under the NFA. Uh, buy back assault weapons and high capacity magazines already in our community. They're going to buy them back from it. No, what they're going to do is they're going to confiscate them from you and they're going to uh, compensate you with a little bit of cash. Uh, reduce stockpiling of weapons. <laughs> yeah, okay. Require background checks for all guns, close loopholes, and a bunch of different stuff. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to take each one of these things, we're going to dial them down, and I'm going to give you a little bit of my insight on what my thoughts are on them. Because, and I want to hear from you. This is a thing. This is a, a communal deal. We're going to be talking to one another. I think this is going to be good. And, and what I also would like for you to do, okay, I don't want to turn this thing into an us versus them because that's not what th this, is, this deal is about. This, bout is about. this is about educating people that if you are okay with this, that eventually down the roads, what will happen is that our Second Amendment, well then the First Amendment, then the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, uh, the Fourteenth Amendment. All your amendments, once it becomes easy to just at a whim let a president go ahead through executive order, restrict one amendment, he can sure as shit do it on another one. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to putting this stuff together. This is going to be exciting. Uh, and I, I'm really really emotional and passionate about what's going on right now because I think it's safe to say that our country as it sits right now, 
uh, it has taken over by a bunch of people who have gained confidence by sitting behind a keyboard and they've taken to the streets. And the silent majority, the strong silent majority is getting sick of it. And before something bad happens, this, this needs to be shut down quickly. So anyway, with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm excited to get back into this thing. Don't forget, uh, codaboy32 at gmail.com. That's my email address. It's down below. Uh, also, uh, kb32tac uh, is my website. And uh, I'm going to be posting some really cool stuff on there. Firearms, ammunition, the unattainables. That's what they are these days. And I think right now, the big situation is to get more involved in reloading. And that's what we're getting ready to do. It's Coda Boy 32 If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who are fighting for our rights on a daily basis. Because freedom is not free. I change that up every now and then. Let's go to Boy 32 I'm out. Y'all be good.